a traffic jam there. A lot less of a traffic jam with that. I'm sure without it all together it would be even less of a traffic jam, but it does even help a little bit with the small high beetles. I don't mind keeping it on there. This is the little propolis chunks that I leave out. See one getting them. There's quite a bit of little pieces of propolis. Let's see where they've been getting it. These girls are getting water. I'm just looking at the uh, pollen drop here again. I don't see anything here. And I really don't see anything there. Looking over at the next hive though. Seeing a fair bit of pollen down there. You see some right underneath the guardian entrance as well. That modification should make it so that they don't drop as much pollen. I've modified a couple others, but I haven't taken the time to pull the, the entrances off and change that. A lot of bees getting water in the pond here. Yeah, may apples are starting to come up here. Just now sprouting up. You can actually see the flower buds on them already. That's the flower bud. This is before the leaves even expand. Red buds are pushing out their buds right now. Probably be blooming in the next week or two, depending on how the weather is. Looks like it's going to be pretty warm the next day or so, and then get cold again for a little bit. Apple tree blossoms are starting to push them out. There's a few here that are in the pink phase. So they're not too far away from blooming. It's Wednesday morning. It's been over 48 hours, but less than three days since I've checked the uh, mite fall. This is only hive three, and there are 14 mites. There's one small hive beetle, but I'm not really counting that right now. This is hive four. There are 44 mites and 26 small, small hive beetles. I did also see a larvae. Right there. So that's got me a little concerned. <clears throat> it's pretty far along too. The reason I think I have small hive beetles getting in here is the these premium bottom boards are ventilated and they use number eight screen and that's big enough that small hive beetles can get into. So, tops and bottoms are closed up so they'd have to either be getting in the entrance or that screen bottom section. Probably need to plug that up just to see if that makes a difference. And these other ones, I put screens on the inside to make them smaller. And the other ones, I had to put the screen on the outside so I couldn't get to it. And the front of these are actually solid because I put insulation in that front portion so nothing can get in at all. It's Friday, March 2nd. <clears throat> we had quite a bit of rain these past few days. We had over four inches, four and a quarter inches. This morning we had a rainfall event that was like, my rain gauge said one inch and it fell in about 15 minutes. Some very light pollen there, that's interesting. Not sure where that's coming from. These are our hives, these are hive four. I have three. Hives two and one. 
<clears throat> I owe these pipes three and four. I owe them a OA treatment today. So I'll probably wait for it to get a little later in the day. So a lot of the forages return. Friday, March 2nd. This is hive three. I have 15 mites. This has been five days since the last OA treatment. Hive four has 52 mites. Saturday. It looks like we got a lot of a lot of uh, propolis harvesters this morning or this afternoon. I don't know if it's just because it's warm enough or they need it in the hive, but just pulling off big chunks and sticking it on their pollen baskets. It's pretty neat. Got this little chunk of uh, wax out here, but it seems that they don't really reuse wax that's outside the hive, but it seems like they're fine pulling it back in if it's propolis. This is in that drone brood. See there's a mite right there. It's still alive too. It's Saturday. Seeing some dead bees out front. I'm not sure if they've just pulling them out or something happened. Down there too. This is the only hive that has it though. It's Saturday just before noon. Still a lot of pollen coming in. Seeing red buds in the neighborhood getting close to blooming, so hoping that their weight loss will slow down, maybe even reverse. I guess we'll keep tracking that over the next couple weeks. I think I'll take a moment today and slide one of these engines reducers off and put my modified one on there. So I can compare the two. This is Nuke 2. Looks like everybody's out. Out and about this morning. This bee's eating all the, or this chicken's eating all the pollen that the bees dropped. Nice warm day here, it's Saturday. Lots of bees out flying. Not sure if you can see them in the sky there or not. A lot of them coming and going. <clears throat> There's some here too. I sprayed some more uh, Swarm Commander on this hive. I rebaited this swarm trap with a lure. I couldn't figure out what the smell was. It smelled very familiar, but uh, my wife uh, smelled it and it smelled exactly like lemon balm to her and that's that's the fragrance that I'm remembering fragrance that I'm remembering Sunday 
believe it's March 5th. A lot of bees out today. Nice and warm. I'm gonna zip up here to the nukes. So I did replace one entrance reducer. Just sort of as a test so I can compare between these two. Sunday, March 5th. This is hive one. There are four small hive, sorry, four mites and two small hive beetles. Hive two has five mites and five small hive beetles. Hive three has 16 mites and two small hive beetles. Hive four, there are 79 mites and 74 small hive beetles. Nuke one has three mites and two small hive beetles. Nuke 2 has 14 mites and 8 small hive beetles.